Starfire is not really sure of her background, mm. but she does seem to have just enough to follow the clues and to know where to go. Mm. So I'm wondering, is it kind of a born identity situation, or is there some? Like, yeah, I love that, that you said that. Um, the producers kind of mimicked that whole experience from Jason Born in a Pit. Um, when I first met with him, that was the name that they kept using. Um, but I think with Corey, she just has instincts, and she's not one to not follow her instinct. Um, so if something feels like that's what she should do, then she just goes with that, and that's how she finds herself to the club, and, and how she knows to go to the hotel, you know, like she's um, very, I guess, intuitive that way. So, yeah. I would just say her, her journey is this season. You know what I mean? Ooh. I'm not asking for story points, but I yeah. mean in terms of her as a person, how do you how would you describe her evolution? Sure. Um, I mean, obviously explorative because she's literally getting to know herself because mm -hmm. um, she has no memory or recollection of anything about herself. So um, it, it's definitely a journey of yeah exploration and. Uh, and understanding who she is. But also, I found that, and maybe it was me doing Starfire, because I am playing Starfire, and it was me bringing a bit of my personality into it, but she sometimes tries to act like everything's okay, even though it's not, and she does that until she just can't do that anymore. Um, and so there was a bit of that, too, that I resonated with. That was very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Since Starfire is sort of not human, did that play into the, your portrayal of the character? Yeah, 100%. Um, I, before I started, I wanted to play with the idea of being alien and seeing humans for the first time and trying to understand why they do what they do and what they're doing. Um, but that was tricky, too, because I don't even know that I'm alien. So, um, I, I, I do. I just tried some things, and I tried to see what kind of felt right. Um, but yeah, in her natural alien way, she does not understand everything about the human condition and, and why people are the way that they are. So, yeah. Can you, talk, uh, can you talk about your training a little bit? Because Starfire kicks ass. Yeah, so, yeah. So uh, who taught you how to kick ass? Yeah, so we had an amazing um, stunt coordinator. His name is Larnell Stovall. And... Um, before each of our fight scenes, we'd probably have like a week of rehearsal mm -hmm. for them. Um, and before I got to Toronto, I hired a trainer and did that whole thing for three months um, and tried to get as in shape as I could because I looked at the comics and her body is <laughs> insane. So um, I, I did try to get as close to that as humanly possible. But, um, but yeah, while we were in Toronto, we had a great stunt coordinator and he would work us out and then also teach us the fight scenes. And a lot of us did our own stuff, which was really fun. Yeah. What was it like learning the Tamarian language that Corey speaks? It was uh, collaborative. Um, I threw out some ideas. I speak Wolof. It's a language from West Africa. and So I try to bring in some of those sounds and stuff. And um, But the writers, too, had a pretty clear idea of what that sounded like. Um, so yeah, I think we created something that was pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. And, uh, um, so far, Titans, I believe, got like 24% of you on Rotten Tomatoes. 91, just 91. saying. <laughs> and uh, so I know that it's been a long journey, especially after all the controversy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what are, first of all, just your thoughts on how it's being received now versus how it was initially received when those photos leaked? Yeah. You know, I understand um, fans wanting to finally have something that they've loved for so long come to life. Um, and so there's a lot of pressure that comes from that on both of our ends, right? Like they want to see something and we want to create something and hopefully they respond to it. But, um, you know, it was unfortunate the way that it was expressed sometimes, but um, I'm happy, man. I'm happy that it's come out. I'm happy that it's being received in the way that it is. It's a relief. 